Hello. Um, we've been talking a lot about the Frappe coding on the DEX itself, but I didn't really cover some other topics, which I believe with the little you have learned, you should be able to catch up with some of them. But I'm more concerned about using Frappe Framework to build a web application portal. And in the documentation on the left-hand side, you see portal, portal pages, and it's described for you say Frappe not only provides a rich admin interface, but you can also use it to build a web application. What is web application? Facebook.com is web application. Google search engine is web application. Instagram is web application. Whatever you can build on the web is a web application. And Frappe is no different from any other web application framework like Django or some other Java framework. And um, that when you open your Frappe itself, visit websites. First, you meet this kind of a landing page with few description of few information called the, the index. Right. You can replace this entire content. And every user on the system also has a website. On your URL, if you use dot slash me, you find this. This is kind of an inbuilt page. For a website user, but I'm not concerned about that. I'm more concerned about having a full-blown website on Frappe. Something like discourse dot like discourse dot erp next dot erp next dot com is a web app built using Frappe framework. It's kind of um, a forum. A forum built using Frappe framework, and you can also well build yours. From the documentation, we have been shown a kind of template for working or creating a web application. So, how do you add web pages to your app? The every Frappe app, including Frappe, comes with a www folder which I'm gonna zoom this a little, which directly maps to web URL. Here is what here is what URL looks like in your application you have this folder it's kind of blank it's this in this folder you place all your html your python your javascript and your css file and there's something also catchy to this Frappe itself already has inbuilt web pages from our source code you can open Frappe, go down to the Frappe app source code, see the WW folder, and you can find various files. The default for the default file folder shows up when you type and um, enter a wrong uh, URL. We test this, enter a wrong URL. The page missing or moved. The page you are looking for is missing. This handler is in this 404.html and 404.py. It's a page missing or moved. The page you are looking for is missing. And the handler that takes care of that is 404.py. Then the about page as well kind of pulls off information from the company. Everything you see in this WW folder is what handles the web app interface, including your login. You can see the login page the login file and every other thing but one interesting thing is that you can replace all of this content how about the erp next web content expand the erp next go down to the www and you can find the content the website content you have these all products on your sites if you type something like this slash all products, you will see the items you have, although I have not added items to my system. I think I must have, I don't know when it loads. You find a page like this with your products listed in them. That's what the WW folder, this other one does. It's kind of have a code in it that produces that. Then the book appointment, the learning management system as well. LMS.
And if there is any content on the learning management system, you should have it. We can explore further, but I just want to show you this as introduction to how the WW website work and to show you that we can replace any content. The WW folder with works with two basic folder. In this folder, the WW, you can have your Python. That is the back-end processor for your websites, your HTML to display, your CSS and JavaScript for the front-end functionality. You also have this folder called templates where you can store um, some kind of templates. You will could be HTML templates that you import into your WW folder. And one more thing, the public, the public folder should hold your JavaScript and CSS files that should that you wish to compile in the system. Well, without going further, I want to do something very interesting here. I'm going to close all this. Open my app. Record that you can replace any website contents. And Frappe, I'll go back to again. Frappe has this index on the WW folder. It has an index. I. It has an index that replaces this. The index is in charge of this website front and the URL, the home page itself. But I'm going to replace it even if the index is not showing here. I'm going to show you how to replace the website content. Then we build our own using these templates I showed you earlier at the beginning. We are going to work with one of these templates, either this or this. I think we are going to work with one of the We'll end up selecting one. But first, let me get something working. Go straight to my app. Go to the WW folder and create a file called index.i. I'm sorry, index.html. Then come straight to your web page and reload. And you're going to see something very funny. Okay. I guess I did, wasn't able to replace this, but um, nevertheless, let me call this, this index itself, the index itself is inherited from a different page itself, but let me kind of log this out and do something very funny. I'm logged out now. How about I replace this login page? This entire login. Reloads. You see it's kind of blank. The login itself is blank. Okay, but we should not do that except you have specific reason for doing that. And how about replacing another page? Going back to the index, how about replacing this all dash products page? One thing you should notice that we have an extension .html, but why using the URL? You do not use the .html all dash products, okay? This is kind of tr tricky and replacing, but I've been able to show you how to do kind of add something, replace. First, first let's create our page. I'm gonna call it um, property. And we can see the result from the property slash. can see that shows how about adding some kind of HTML to it. Reload. 
and you see what you have your property head but one thing you observe is that this header and this still follow us through what i want to do at the end of the day is to replace first thing i will do is kind of have a sub url that takes care of the website with our own templates this showing entirely to so show exactly how this template is showing rather than inheriting what we have at the top here and at the bottom and at the end of the day i'll try to make it such that our main website will be on the landing page rather than having this entire something there that is it but further to give further description we will import a bootstrap template into our frappy portal or our website or our web app we are going to import you can manually write your own bootstrap template but i'm going to import or show you how to import an external bootstrap template into frappy portal and we'll carry on from there thanks for watching and i hope you do enjoy it